ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Spider-Man unboxing and review video. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at something really peculiar. For those of you who aren't aware, this is a miniature version of a Hot Toys Spidey in a tiny, teeny light-up Hall of Armor. It comes in a pack of six, they all connect, and yes, you can have them all lit up at the one time from one single cable. I honestly couldn't be more excited to take a look at this, even though I really didn't have it on my radar whatsoever. I saw a couple of the earlier ones, the Iron Man one and of course the Batman one. I was tempted, but when I saw the Spidey set, that's when I really started to get excited. This is Series 2, there was a Series 1. You can place an order for this over at ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. I'm pretty sure you can get the other ones as well, just have a snoop around on the website. They have 12 month payment plans now available if you'd like to space out your figure payments over time. If you do like seeing really early Hot Toys and third party content, why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon so you're notified as soon as brand new content goes live on the channel. What we are going to do now though is take it off the rotating turntable and do the unboxing. And here we have the first three miniature Hall of Armor Spider-Man figures that we'll be unboxing. Yes, I will be doing it in sets of three. You get six in the set, so that's two clips for those of you counting. As you can see, you do have an image that scrolls across the entire length of the top of the packaging. They all connect. You can see bits and pieces of Spidey that mesh nicely along the top there. It looks really good and it's a classy way of potentially displaying these in their boxes, but let's be honest, we're not going to display them in the boxes, we're going to bust them out here, and of course, I'm probably going to be displaying mine on my desk. They're weird, they're small, and they are quite awesome in the way that they do connect and light up. I haven't quite decided yet if they're going to be going in the collection room, or as I said, on my desk, because of course they are small enough to be a nice desk ornament. And of course, here we have the first one being the Scarlet Spider. You can see micro USB on the back, and yes, I'm going to be that guy. I don't know why. Hot Toys, it's 2020. Use USB-C. This is incredibly outdated. You can see a switch on the bottom. That's not to turn it on. That's actually when you push it in and then push it out. It's to push out this micro USB male end, which does connect to these other versions of the Hall of Armor. So it's a nice way of connecting them up, sharing power, and having them all lit up on your desk. It also locks in place. So that means you do have to push it in, then retract it back. So that's the first one being of course, the Scarlet Spider. Next up, we do have the Secret War suit. A bit of blue on this one, and honestly, I really like the way this one looks. I don't know yet which one out of this set is going to be my favorite, but I really do like how striking the design of the Secret War suit is. They are actually incredibly difficult to get out of the packaging. You can, of course, see the Secret War suit looking pretty darn awesome, the mini hall of armor, and of course, the multitude of micro USB goodness all around. Don't worry, we'll be taking a much closer look at them just after the unboxing segments because there is a lot of detail to discuss even though these are smaller scale collectible pieces. Now of course this one I know a lot of people will be excited about the classic suit except there is one key thing and I'm not going to talk about it just yet but one thing which kind of doesn't work for a hall of armor display. I'll leave it here for just a second have a think and let me know down in the comments but again the same exact piece of hall of armor plating piece here that the spidey suit is sitting inside they're all shared between the three there. What we are going to do next though is get the next three out here and continue the unboxing. You can actually see that these three have a different color tone to the other three. They're blue blue rather than red. The images do cross over except for Cyborg Spidey over here. For some reason he's left all the way off to the side where these two are pretty much mashed together. Let's start off with Cyborg Spidey, one of the weirdest and wackiest designs in my personal opinion, but one that honestly I'm actually liking the look of, especially from that CGI image up the top there. I would love to see an actual one six scale figure of this guy. Who knows, maybe one day Hot Toys will decide to do it as I literally struggle and wrangle this thing on camera, it is quite the challenge to get these things open. You'd think that Hot Toys had stuck them down, but honestly, they haven't. They literally just friction fit inside. I've made a bit of a mess of that packaging there, but nevertheless, these are going on display. They're not going to be going back in their packaging. Cyborg Spidey looking fantastic, and of course, the same old Hall of Armor piece. Now let's take a look at the next one being the Electrically Insulated Suit. Red and black, one of my favorite two color combos. This guy has it, and he looks really darn fantastic. Almost 
could be mistaken for a Miles Morales suit, but no, this is Peter Parker in the electrically insulated suit, and he is out here, and let's have a closer look. There he is. I'm actually really liking the subtle satin finish of that red there, as well as the dark deep black. It really does contrast and pop quite nicely. The last one in the set is of course the Iron Spider. Did I save the best for last? Possibly. This guy looks really darn awesome. I love the metallic gloss on the suit. It almost looks like the same finish as the one six scale version, just shrunk down to teeny tiny size. I honestly don't know what size you would consider these little things. Maybe three and three quarter inches, but that looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the red, I love the gold, it just pops. I honestly cannot wait to light these things up. So without further ado, what we're going to do now is bring the camera down and take a much closer look at each of these Spidey suits in greater detail. And here we have it, the miniature Hall of Armor all assembled up and lit up as well. This thing is a feast for the eyes. There is so much going on here. Even though they are little teeny tiny versions of Spider-Man, they are still very, very impressive. Let's talk about this. This is a Doc Ock tentacle. You can see it's nicely painted. The sculpt is okay as well. It's actually on a wire, so you can adjust it and bend it however you'd like. There's a magnet on the side, so of course you can just pop it on the side there. But why? I don't know why there would be a Doc Ock tentacle on the side. I guess it's a nice touch, but honestly, I personally won't be using it. Now basically how this is going to work is we're going to detach each Spidey suit, then bring it up close and take a closer look. Starting off, of course, with the Iron Spider suit. I've already decided this is my favorite. I love the metallic look here. It just pops. The red and the gold looks fantastic, even in miniature format. And I have to stress, these are tiny, literally maybe even smaller than 3.75 inch figures. They are really darn cute. Now, yes, you're probably wondering, just like I did, can you remove the Spidey from the Hall of Armor? Unfortunately, you can't. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a peg in the back, and it also appears like they are pegged down at the feet as well. They do move a little bit, as you can see, but I've tried to get them out without destroying them, and they simply won't budge. It's unfortunate. It would have been cool to have them remove, but nevertheless, it's probably best to leave them in there. The Iron Spider, though, I really do like. Next up, we do have the Electrical insulated suit. A weird design, I'm not exactly sure which comic he does come from, let me know in the comments below, but I love the way it looks. I love the satin red and the satin black with the subtle pop of white for the eyes and the little silver knobs on the side of his head there. Is that something to do with his electrically insulatedness? Again, let me know down below, but this one looks really darn cool as well. Very, very tiny. Next up, we do have one of the most visually striking of the bunch being Cyborg Spider-Man. This is so wacky, so out there, so 90s, and I love it. Metallic arm, Batman-style utility belt, and of course, his little eye patch up there with the bandana for good measure. This is awesome, it's badass, and I love it. I do also love the detail. As I said, these guys are tiny, but that doesn't mean the paintwork isn't crisp. It really, really is, all the way down to the teeny tiny little stitching on the suit there, how have they done that? I'm not entirely sure because it looks really crisp and clean for something so small. Next up we do have the Secret War Suit with its blue and red and black goodness. This might actually be my second favorite. The detail on this in terms of the sculpting is of course on point. I'm surprised that once again the paint is as clean as it is all the way down to the super thin red lines there. The guys and gals who work in the Hot Toys factory definitely have nailed their craft. This is a prime example of that. It looks cool, it's tiny, and I love it. Next up we do have the classic suit. I was thinking this might be my favorite, but there's one thing that I'm getting hung up on, and if you haven't guessed it already, it's the battle damage. This technically is just a suit in a Hall of Armor, right? I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, but then again, we have skin tone underneath, so are they implying this is Peter Parker literally just permanently standing and chilling in his Hall of Armor, wearing a battle damage suit? That's just weird, I don't know why they've done that. I know it's a, an odd thing to get hung up on, but I am, and I can't really explain what the thought process was for this particular suit. It still looks good, don't get me wrong, if you sort of 
throw all of that out of the window and suspend your disbelief while looking at him, then yeah, it kind of works. But honestly, for me, it's just a little bit funky. And we may as well leave the lights on for this final piece right here, being, of course, the Scarlet Spider looking really darn awesome. You can see one light up at the top, lights on the sides as well, and no, the doors do not close. They are fixed in place. This guy looks really, really good. I love the satin red paintwork. The blue of the little hoodie vest looks great as well. So too do the pops of silver and brown for the belts and the little web shooters and his little ankle bracelets down there as well. He looks absolutely awesome. I'm just super impressed once again with how well they are sculpted and painted for something so darn small. Hot Toys are masters at their craft. This, as I said, is a prime example of that. Now, as you can see, there is one single micro USB cable plugged in the back there. It's a very straightforward process of lighting them up. You literally just plug it in and the lights will turn on. Very, very straightforward and a super simple and easy way to get them all to connect. Now, is this set worth picking up? For me personally, being a huge Spidey fan, I kind of think it is. Does that mean I'm going to be going ahead and picking up the Iron Man one and the Batman one? Who knows? Potentially I will. More than likely, honestly, I will because I'm really impressed with how this set has come across. I'm going to be adding this to my desk so when I'm editing videos this can be staring at me and I can be impressed with the craftsmanship of these tiny little Spider-Man figures. Now if you'd like to pick up this or any of the other miniature Hall of Armor sets, you can do that at ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is down in the description below so definitely go ahead and check that out. Also while you are down there, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.